What is up YouTube? It is Mick here. Um, you know, I showed this in the last video I made on, uh, I think, news showing off the old newspapers and stuff I had. Uh, this is something I actually want to make a video about. It's the uh, John F. Kennedy Memorial Edition of Life Magazine. Um, as you can see, John F. Kennedy on the front. Uh, it was printed in 1963, but I'm just going to basically go through it. I've never even looked at this yet, so it'll be kind of a surprise to you and me. Uh, there's the front page. I got glare there. Let me just see if I can stop that. Picture of Kennedy. Yeah. I don't know if I can zoom down to it well enough or not. Let's see if I can collapse the legs on this. See if you can see it or not. But it says 1963 right there. Um, this is the original print as far as I know. But I'll get back out. Um, yeah, this, I'm not quite sure when in 1963 this was printed, uh, but uh, well, it was out obviously after the fact, or after he was assassinated. But, uh, you know, it's a pretty neat thing to have considering it's over almost 50 years old. Um, but we'll keep going here. It's a picture of them. I don't know if that's when they were in Dallas or. My uncle uh, actually worked on the plane. He was Chief Mechanic Air Force One for Kennedy. Uh, I think it was, uh, I want to say Eisenhower through Nixon, he worked on the aircraft. I think maybe even up to Ford. Um, that's a picture of the car. Um, it's pictures as it happened. More pictures as it happened there. People in shock. I mean, I find this just thing neat because there's Lyndon B. Johnson taking oath on the plane. Um, no, I mean, I'm a history fan. Uh, some of my subs now, and I just, you know, this is a big turning point in history um, with Lyndon B. Johnson and his uh, his what's the term I'm thinking of here? His domestic policies and stuff, and then he had Kennedy who was, in some aspects, completely different. Um, there's another picture. There's Bobby Kennedy up there. If you guys can't see this wall or too well, I apologize. There is a lot of glare. <clears throat> That's the uh, when his body was returned to the White House. Let's see what this is. This cabinet apparently finding out while they were on their way overseas for a trip. People from around the world being affected by it. And then it goes into a whole article here about John F. Kennedy and his beginnings. Some as a kid. Um, but you know, like I said, this is a piece of history that I think is really important. And, uh, you know, I would... Uh, something I'm going to hold on to for a while and try to keep it uh, keep it preserved pretty good keep it on here, see what else Let's see here. there's President Eisenhower and uh, uh, John F. Kennedy some pictures of him in the uh, Oval Office and talks about the Cuban Missile Crisis there and it's a picture of his casket A lot of pictures here that I've never seen before. There's Ted Kennedy, Jackie. That's at Arlington, which I've been there before, and that's a. It's just words can't describe. I actually went to a funeral for a family member there, and I mean it was one of the most sombering experiences I've ever had. Um, keep drilling through here. And there's some more articles, um, some stuff about Lyndon B. Johnson uh, taking office, Lady Bird Johnson, and then it goes apparently into a good bit about Lyndon B. Johnson there. 
and about his presidency. Actually, that was when he was vice president still. So, I'll speed through here then. A little bit about Lee Harvey Oswald and the view of the shot he took. And uh, The other two people that were, uh, well, the policeman Lee Harvey Oswald shot and the killer. Now, I mean, like I said, this is a really neat piece of history. Um, <clears throat> this gives you a mind point of how everybody felt during, you know, that that time and day. Uh, the Union Jack and half staff and half staff in the United Kingdom. Um, just people all over the world were stunned by the incident. You know, there's the Pope, but you know, and I, regardless of policies or anything like that, you know it. Never wish that on anybody. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, it was just a neat piece, and I wanted to show you guys this in a little more detail. I don't know how many people will be interested in this or not, but <laughs> that's it. Um, hope you guys have a great night.